and have a vote. So when he meets with you, what are you going to tell him? Well, I have three issues that I want to know about. I asked last night, uh, will you unequivocally and publicly state that the election, the 2020 presidential election was not stolen? Um, he didn't answer that question very clearly, and Jim Jordan didn't answer that question very clearly. The second issue I have is, uh, what is the spending number uh, that, that we're all going to agree on? It doesn't have to be my, my number, but I think if we're going to go and, and move forward with, the, with appropriations bills, we need to know what that number is. And the third question I had is, will you put Ukraine funding on the floor? I understand that he wants to see a plan from President Biden, but um, even if the plan doesn't meet his expectations, will he put the vote on the floor so the rest of us can vote on that issue? Why don't you think they're going to commit to, I mean, the other two number spending numbers has got to be negotiated, so I can understand the delay to get you that. Uh, you Ukraine funding on the floor, there's obviously so much division. Something as simple as saying the 2020 election wasn't stolen, why don't you think either one of those gentlemen can commit to that? I, I think there is a large uh, group of Trump followers in this country that uh, would uh, disagree with that and, and would uh, there would be a political penalty for, for saying such a thing. Got it. Um, when do you expect there to be a vote for speaker? I expect it to be a vote for speaker when uh, Steve Scalise gets to 217 and not a moment be before. Today, tomorrow, this week, next week? I, I, I'm, I'm hoping, uh, uh, based on the, 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 the timing right now, I would think tonight or tomorrow uh, we would have a vote on the floor. How do you feel about the state of the conference right now, the state of the party? You, you know, I feel a lot better than I did uh, last week, uh, honestly. I think getting everybody into one room and feeding everybody and uh, talking about the necessity for uh, unity uh, was really effective. And I, I think people will come together behind Steve Scalise. Um, Congressman Ken Buck, thank you very much. And, and let us remind Steve Scalise as he goes to meet with you, you want to know this, the, the 2020 election was not stolen for him to say it. You want a spending number and you want a promise to bring Ukraine funding to the floor. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us as always. Thank you. And coming up.